A home was destroyed and a dog is dead after a fire in Venice. Well, now neighbors are wondering if a nearby homeless encampment is to blame. Eyewitness News reporter Jory Rand has the story. Her dog died. She lost her home and she lost everything. When's it, when is it going to be enough? An overnight fire at a Venice bungalow, the latest in a string of dangerous incidents that is quickly making parts of Venice unlivable. The chaos on the street is, it's unbearable. I don't walk my dog at night. Um, we sometimes drive to Santa Monica to walk him in the morning so we don't have to deal with all the things that are going on around here. The fire broke out a little before 4 a.m. Nobody was home at the time, but the homeowner's dog did not survive. I heard a dog yelping, screaming like I've never heard before. This photo shows the owner weeping beneath the body of her beloved dog Togo wrapped in a sheet. The fire may have been arson. Firefighters telling local reporters they think someone threw something over the fence. Residents believe it was payback for recent incidents involving the homeless. There's a large tent encampment outside just across the street from Westminster Avenue Elementary. We live with feces all over around our house. Uh, uh, syringe needles have been found. It's we're living in a war zone here. Residents say no resources are provided for those living on the streets and offers of help are being inexplicably refused. Two weeks ago, I actually volunteered 20 beds to this very encampment and I offered it to our councilman's office and they actually declined and said no. Did they give you a reason? Or? You know what? He hung up on me before he could actually give a reason. That would be Councilman Mike Bonin and there's a long list of angry residents who say their calls for help continue to be ignored. I have email chains not even from a week ago in which I, I Mike Bonin is on it and I warned them I said, this is an escalating situation. It is something is really wrong in this neighborhood. It was just sort of a matter of time. Like when was something horrid going to happen? And unfortunately, last night it happened right here. And it's essentially like a grand experiment of plopping Skid Row deep into a residential neighborhood. And there's just no good comes of it. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.